babe, that is all. Don't be only daddy. Daddy that does things with his child. Is that what he daddy? <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm famished. Oh. I go to chicken and chips on my way here. Chicken and what? Chicken and chips. You like it, don't you? Okay. Yes, I do. But that's only a little. When I'm home, I want homemade food. I mean, how long do I have to spell this out to you, Lucy? For Larry, look at me. I just got to your place. I could have got to you Semu and Egusi. Trash! <sighs> okay. Mm. Now, listen to yourself. Just, just listen to yourself. Are you making sense at all? For Larry. For Larry what? Just so every day with you is a great disaster. You can't even think and come up with a great decision. I wonder what's gonna happen if we got married. What am I even okay, saying? Okay, babe. I'll buy rice for you. So hell with you. I'm done with you, so done with you, so you can just get out, get out of my house, out! Fulari, stop. I said I'll buy rice for you, isn't that fine? Okay, you think I'm still joking with you, right? Right? It look, looks like I'm joking with you. Don't worry. Fulari, what are you doing? I'm probably sending you out of your out of my house where I pay rent, okay? And out of my life. Take it. Just, just out, out, out. Out, please. Out. Go away. Out. Just go out, please. For Larry, please. It will repeat itself. Lucy, just go out and don't ever come back. Out. Mm. Hello, yeah. She's gone. What's next? I'll come over at evening. Are you sure about this? Trust me. you first. Oh, so I'm sorry. Let me think so. My order kept. Excuse me, young lady. I called you first. So you should take my order. Ma, I'm sorry. Please attend to her. <laughs> Hello. Are you all right? I called you to attend to me, so please respect that. Please attend to him. So I'm sorry. You attend to him. No. Come on, get out. Excuse me, young lady. I called you first, so you should take my order first. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't disregard your consistent customers, do you? Please. So, let me take your order at 
for white wine. Forget the cup. Red wine is fine. Is that hot? That's all. Thank you, Responsible men drink responsibly. Ha! What I drink and now I drink it is nobody's business. Someone needs to watch it. There are no ambulance around. Please mind your business. If you minded yours, you wouldn't call me responsible. Excuse me. I never called you responsible. I said responsible men do not drink in this manner. And they do not insist on being served first. For a man, and the only thing he remembers is that one thing you didn't do. It's a VIP bar, such noise is prohibited. <sighs> Wanna talk about it? Do you know how to stay off people's business at all? That I'm putting my sorrows away to listen to you is a privilege. But no, women never appreciate anything. All of you. I'm sorry I screamed at you. He broke up with me because I got him fast food for lunch. What? Were you supposed to pound yam for lunch? What do you care for? Mm -hmm. Water? Yeah. No, 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 no. 
Okay. See, the tradition here is hmm? first time guests take wine. Yeah. So I'll be right back. A quest for extravagant lifestyle and luxuries are falling. I mean, she wants the latest air gadgets, car. She wants to be the signage at every event. It's crazy. Huh. I told you the other day how some Danfo driver said my car is old model because I refused to give him wind traffic. <laughs> yeah, you did. Do um, you know how Lagos Danfo drivers can be so uncouth? And you don't think you should get me a more recent car? <sighs> Amanda, come on. You don't live your life on someone else's validation. I'm not. Besides, is it befitting of you, so must I banjo, that your girlfriend is driving a 2016 salon? Well, I am not complaining. Moreover, the car hasn't developed any fault yet, and I drive the same 2016 model myself. 2016 Benz? Is it the same with my 2016 Corolla? Amanda! Uh, don't be like this. I shouldn't be like how? Look at what your friends do for their girls, you see it. But you come up with excuses of different sort. What kind of man are you? Did you change the car? I love her. Of course, I, I did change the car. Really? Yes. You know, I thought you were an action man earlier. But damn, you're such a weakling. Follery would never do that. Oh. So you're crazy about luxury too, right? Which woman isn't? <laughs> I'm not that bad. I mean, I work and earn a reasonable sum. But I like it when I spend my man's money. The taste is always different. All right, women are the same. You all are just the same. Excuse you. I had enough to take good care of myself. I'm not like your girlfriend. Excuse me. Ex. Ex-girlfriend. Even though I make my money, I like it when my man spoils me as much as I do him. But what did I get in the hand? Breakfast! How did it happen? Glad you like it. I love this, really. Honestly. You wanna have a bite? Come on, you know, I don't brush my teeth. That does not matter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You caught me in awe, really. And um, this was so thoughtful of you. Honestly, mm. I must commend it. But for Larry, hmm? <laughs> you know, I've been waiting for the day you catch me by surprise. And I mean, I I like random gifts, but you never get me one. Like, I don't give you gifts? Are you saying this because you got me a birthday cake? Huh? No, no. come on. For Larry. Waiter.
Larry, please hear me out. I didn't say those words because I got you a birthday cake. It's a simple act of romance that I would love to get from you. I know you gave me gifts on request, but I want you to always put me in your thoughts. Random gifts make a woman feel loved. You're right. <clears throat> You're right. Um, and um, I, I didn't think about that, you know. I'm sorry. I, I'll make it up to you. I'm sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for not putting the right to it. I promise not to scream at you again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your kind is rare, Lucy. You know, I can't wait to, you know, I can't wait to have you say yes to me. And we live together forever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and my boyfriend, now ex though, served me breakfast after the promise. Hmm. Sorry about that, Lucy. I'm sure with time you will heal. Hmm? My gut feeling tells me he will surely come back. No, no. He won't. Falarin doesn't go back on his words. You haven't told me your name. <laughs> I'm Thomas. Thomas Adibanjo. Excuse me. Okay. I need to use the legs. Uh, okay. Sure. about this? Are you sure she's going to say yes to me? Yeah. Of course she's going to say yes, but it's my turn to even planning flows. I did use how much you guys love each other from what you've told me, so calm down. I believe she's going to say yes. When I fall asleep yeah, I need you with me by my side, it's all it's all I know now. I need you with me by my side. Lucy.